I'd first like to start up by saying thank you for using the Simply Canvas and Simply Color video tutorial systems. This tutorial is designed to show you how to set up a word wrap file in Photoshop prior to uploading it into the rows ordering system. So the first thing that we're going to do after we have opened our file in Photoshop is to start changing the size of the file to accommodate the sized canvas that we would like to eventually have printed. I'm going to come up into image image size and you'll see that this image size palette then appears. What we're going to start with is unchecking the resample image box. What that does is link together the width, height, and resolution so that one can't move without the other. I would like to print out a 16 by 20 canvas so I'm going to start by changing the larger of my two dimensions first. So you see that the 10 of the width is highlighted. I'm going to, pardon me, I'm going to change that to 20 inches. And the 16 then automatically uh, converts as it's the same proportional size as my original image. I'm now going to recheck the resample image box and come down to this bottom toggle bar, open that up, and since I did just uh, enlarge my image, I'm going to choose by Cubic Smoother for enlargement. Click on that and hit OK. At this time, what I would like to do is change the canvas size around my image from a 16 by 20 to adding two inches per dimension. Uh, what this is going to do is accommodate the word wrap that we will be adding on. So I'm going to come back into image, come down to canvas size, and I'm going to click the relative box making sure that our anchor point is in the center. What this is going to do is ensure that when I type in four and four into my height and width, that two inches are evenly distributed around the edges um, of the canvas. Before I click out of that, I'm going to choose my canvas extension color. This is going to give you the opportunity to have a custom color, uh, black, white, gray, or other. I'm going to choose other so that I can have my canvas uh, color palette come up right now. And because this is a black and white image, I'd like to stay within that black and white tonal range, but I would like to choose a, a lighter gray um, that is within the blue family. So what I'm going to do is just click around my colors palette until I find something that I am happy with. And I think I'm going to stick right around with this medium gray. So I'm going to click OK. You'll see that that color then appears in the little thumbnail next to the canvas extension color going to click OK. And now what we have is a canvas that is extended with a color. So at this point what I'm going to do is uh, change the resolution of my image. So I'm going to go back into image, image size, and it's set right now at 162 ppi or pixels per inch. Here at Simply Canvas we do only need files to be 100 pixels per inch. Um, we do we use something called a RIP software, which allows us to take an image of a, of a slightly lower resolution and enlarge it greatly without any distortion or pixelation. So we're going to change this resolution down to 100 pixels per inch. Click OK, and our image is now resized. So at this time, what I'm going to do is to create a new layer. And I'm going to do that by coming up to Layer, hitting New, New Layer. And you can see now that I have a new layer that's sitting right above my background. So on this layer, I'm going to add in some text. Now that I have this new layer, I'm going to click on the Text button. And I'm going to come in um, to the area above the image where I would like to start adding in text. I'm not going to worry at this point about my font or the size of the font or anything like that. I'm just simply going to type the text as I would like it to read. So I'm just going to type in a few words if you would just wait patient, patiently for me to finish typing. So I've typed in a little phrase that has to do with little girls and at this point I'm going to just highlight all of that text and come up here into the sizing for fonts and enlarge that until I feel like it's large enough to hold its own inside of that wrapped area. And I'm also going to change my uh, font at this time 
to something that's just a little more fitting to uh, the image. As well, I'd like to change the color of my text. And I think I'm just going to stick with a white. And again, I'm going to come back into the blue family, somewhere in the, in the cool, cool whites area. That looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and move this down just a little bit so that it's closer to the edge of that canvas. So what I'm going to do now is to put a few guides down to make sure that that text never wraps around the back of my image where the canvas gets stapled and assembled. Right now you can see that I can only view every other inch. I'm going to zoom in until I can see every inch. And I'm going to pull down from my ruler to my guides one half of an inch. Um, this is how much the of the canvas is taken up by that wrap where the canvas wraps around to get stapled and assembled. By holding shift right when you're right about um, to that mark, you will be able to have that guide snap to the dimension that you're asking it to. So just one around every edge.